guys good afternoon good morning and welcome back once again to my channel as you can see my background is different from that of the hostel so that means your baby girl is back home yeah i'm back home and i'm super excited man i missed home so much and i so much thank god that i'm back home it wasn't easy while i was actually coming back but then thank god for safe journey and all of that so i just don't want to waste time in this video i want to quickly go straight to the point so before i came back um home some other final years are actually in school they're not done with their projects so they're still in school and then everyone was actually asked to vacate the hostel actually because um you know the new session is about to commence and then students all, all newer students are going to apply for the hostel so students old students are asked to actually vacate the hostel we had to leave but then the final year students wrote um a letter so that they're going to help them extend just one week like allow them to stay for one week because they definitely have nowhere to go to and they're still not done with their project so from this um with this i think it's actually necessary in case you're you're entering final year and then you're not done with your project and you're asked to vacate the hostel you actually have the right to visit the dean of student affairs and then plead with him then he's actually going to help he's actually a good man by the grace of god he's a good man and He's very, very, very kind and compassionate. He's going to listen to your plea. Yeah, my roommate, who is actually not done with her um, project, she actually went with some other persons to see the dean, and the dean was able to extend the time for them. Anyways, thank you so much for coming to my channel. If you're interested in subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to watch my videos. And you, if you're missing this face for the t um, for the first time, my name is Debbie and this is Debbie Content Channel. Thank you so much for coming around, okay? Please don't forget to click on the red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. The notification bell helps you to be notified whenever I upload a new video, okay? Once in a while, I'm going to be dropping um, some some tips about University of Nigeria and Suka that's going to help you, especially as a fresher. I'm going to be um, guiding you through on how to scale in the campus, you know, all of those stuff you probably may be confused about. I promise I'm going to be helping you in this channel, so do well to subscribe to the channel so that I'm going to help you. I'm a super lioness. By the way, um, UNN students are called lions and lionesses, and we roll, like seriously, we roll. So, I'm going to be helping you as a super lioness. Okay, now, we call those that have graduated super lioness because... They are no longer cubs. They are no longer, you know, those little lions. So, if you're graduated, you've passed through the den, and then you are still strong, you're still vibrant, you're a super lioness, and like it's not easy. So, I'm gonna be helping you as a super lioness to, you know, I'm gonna help you, teach you, take you on the tips on how to, you know, roar better and be successful. Okay, and I promise you, the Lord that helped me to go through from my first year to my final year so this graduating point is going to help you in jesus name all you just need to do is to play your part follow me constantly on the channel um make sure you don't miss any of my videos and whenever you you see any of the videos i'm going to re release them please don't be so selfish to yourself alone don't be so selfish to yourself and sure you pass this video to your friends to your classmates let them watch okay because it's gonna be so so helpful for you okay so, without wasting much ado, let's get right into this video. So, um, from the title of this video, you already know what this video is all about. I just want to quickly, of course, I know they've actually opened the portal for the hostel. Usually, um, for returning students and then for the new students. Returning students are students that are already admitted into the university, those going from first year to second year, third year, and all of that. So, they are called returning students. And for the new students, um, they are called new students, yeah. So... Um, usually you pay your school fees online and then yeah you pay your school fees online and then every other thing virtually everything in school you pay them online and then when it comes to hostel hostel is the key thing you also pay online as well first of all if you've not paid your school fees it's very 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 difficult for you to get a hostel that's why it's very very advisable for you to you know pay your school fees on time so you're going to um, get access to the school fees portal. The, the school fees is the first thing you're supposed to pay before you have access because if you've not even paid your school fees, there's no way you're going to have access to um, the school hostel. And you know, most students love to be in the, in the school hostel. In my next video, I'm going to tell you five reasons why, or I may not really be able to give the number. I'm going to tell you why you need to be in the school hostel. 
like i don't know for those that don't want to be in this school hostel probably my video is going to convince you on why you need to be in this school hostel okay so um that's why you need to actually strive like strive to be in the hostel strive to get hosted i know it's not easy there's no money anywhere probably um the country is a mess Nigeria as a whole is a mess and people are looking for money. Things are high. But please, whatever you want to do that is judicious. When I say whatever you want to do, I, I mean things that are judicious. Try to talk to your parents, your loved ones, you know, um, your supporters, so that they're going to make your school fees ready, so that you'll be able to apply for hostel. Share for those that are, you know, looking forward to staying in the school hostel, okay? It's, it's, it's a rush. It's a rush. It's a thing of rush. Like, they rush the hostels, and the hostels are not really much like that. I think the girls have up to 15 hostels, and out of those 15 hostels, it's not really, 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 really enough for every student in the campus. So, it is a first come first serve basis so that's why it's necessary for you to pay your school fees first of all once you see that the school fees portal has been opened the school fees portal is is an online platform where you pay for your school fees and all of that once the portal is open just like that's been opened now just make sure you pay your school fees and then after that i think they're going to give like three days before the, the hostel portal is going to be open and then it's it, it's on a first come first serve basis if you have persons that actually have a faster network that could actually help you it's necessary for you to contact them why they're trying to help you apply for the best places online you should also be trying it yourself i've had myself i've i've actually missed the hostel several times i think in my in my second year my third year i wasn't able to get the hostel I was in the hostel, I just want to go hostel to be precise in my first year. But in my second year, my third year, I did a lot of mistakes and then I wasn't able to get it. So I think it's necessary for you to actually get all those things in place so that when it's time you're not going to be um you're not going to fall short of it and all of that. So um now I'm going to quickly give a breakdown of some of the hostels I can remember, I guess hostel, the boys hostel. Are actually two. The boys actually have two hostels, an Injoku hostel and Adolf Alvan hostel. For the girls hostel, we have um, Mary Slessor, we have um, we have Balewa hostel, we have Opera hostel, we have OKK where I was, um, and OKK is the newest hostel. That's the newest hostel. It's, it's a beautiful place to be. I was there though. It actually has bunk. If you're a kind of person that you enjoy the secondary school bunk, then you should go for OKK. Apart from the fact that it has bunk, it's, it's a very beautiful hostel. You're going to enjoy it. It has painted walls and all of that. If you watch, I did a video, a room tour video on OKK hostel. I think you should check that out. Okay? So, um, some other hostels are we have. Our lower hostel, we have Bello hostel for pharmacy students, we have presidential hostel for most of those students that are going over to UNEC. You know, in the University of Nigeria, we have um, OKK host, sorry, we have um, the main campus and then we have Enugu campus, which is known as UNEC. So, for now, the best hostels in this school is our uh, Opera hostel and um, OKK hostel. Opera hostel was renovated and they have the best, best toilet system. So I think this is best is all for now. Don't forget to click on the rest subscribe button. If you have any further questions as regards to the hostel, you can drop at the comment section and I promise you I'm going to get to cleared. Okay? So I see you in my video. Next video, take care of yourself. And don't forget to click on the rest subscribe button. Bye.